What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel Disney and Devony and today we are finally going to do the Disney Halloween Village. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe the day has finally come. Okay, it's taken me quite a bit to get there, but nevertheless, we're doing it right before October, right before October 1st. So I am going to be merging last year's pieces with this year's new pieces, and hopefully, let's see how it looks, because my credence is big, but it's not that big. So I might have to just break it up in two pieces if I have to, in different sections of the house. We'll see how it turns out. Um, so if that's something you wanna see, Let's go ahead and get started because I have to unbox every one, every last piece of them. So let's do this. So after I took everything out of their boxes, I had to make sure there wasn't any broken pieces. So I had to inspect each and every one of them. I had to make sure they were working. Um, the ones that needed battery, I made sure that they had fresh batteries put in them. Um, and then also make sure everything turned on um, and was in working order. So then I had to find a movie. I decided, let me find a movie um, so I can watch something while I decorate. And let me tell you, the Haunted Mansion Muppets movie came very close. I almost chose that one, but instead I decided to go with Hocus Pocus 1 and possibly Hocus Pocus 2 if it takes me that long to decorate. So then I began to just fluff up all of the trees and I began to take out the first um, house and position it and also place it in the position I want it along with the tree that I wanted next to it you know to just fluff up everything and then I make sure all the extension cords were in position and I said to myself you know maybe it's better if I start at the pumpkin at one end with the pumpkin patch and then work my way on down um, I think that would be a little bit more easier for me to go in an order and so um, I started to place all of the pumpkin patch uh, decor over at one end. And so far things were looking pretty good. It was lining up, I think. And then now I decided, let me go ahead and do the Haunted Mansion. Um, this piece I really took my time with because it's such a beautiful, um, you know, it's just an iconic piece. And so I had to plug it in to see if it worked to make sure, you know, it was still operating because it's already a year old. Old, and yep it was working so I decided to place it on a riser um, a, a clear riser because when I put the gate I figured the right the house had to look like it was on a hill so then I put the gate in front of it and it did give it that appeal and then next I put the horse carriage um, with the phantom 
course um, just like the one in the um, Disney parks I thought that came out really good so then I continued placing more of the village pieces including um, the uh, hitchhiking ghost you're gonna see in a second um, I thought those also came out really nice and next was the road so i had to roll out the road to um place it from one end to the other you know making sure that it connected and brought everything together as if it was one big block i thought it looked perfect for like if you were trick-or-treating in this cute little village <laughs> Um, so anyway yeah so that came out perfect I thought so and so now um, the final piece that I decided I was going to just um, operate before I go ahead and continue on in the living room was going to be the countdown clock um, it's the countdown to Halloween this is the one I picked up from last year from the parks so because October is quite not here yet I can put 31 days left until Halloween um, so it came out really nice so I thought maybe now let me go ahead into the um, fireplace mantle in my other living room I figured let me go ahead and shush that up a little bit and I figured what would look great would be like fall leaves on this um, mantle so I did have some fall leaves with some fairy lights and I decided um, that I would uh, string it from one end to the other I had two of them which was perfect and then I figured in the center I would do this DIY Disney wreath that I <laughs> attempted to do last year but you know what somehow it tied together and it looked great for this occasion next I had to find a spot for the headless horseman statue that I bought from home goods last year um, so his pumpkin lights up, but I'm going to need batteries for that one. But I thought this came out so amazing. He looks so magnificent in this spot right here. And then I added Ichabod Crane by him. He is new. I just got him from Amazon. Um, and then also now I'm thinking let's move to the um, entryway. I figured I'm going to make this section to be the haunted mansion. And I needed a runner, but I didn't have one and I didn't have time to buy one. So what I did have was some mats, um, you know, some placemats and I decided let me use all four of them and make them connecting and I think that it would look really good as a runner even though it's not a runner and um I just connected all four of them and honestly I think it really came out good it gave the illusion of it being a runner tell me what you guys think I mean honestly um you have to make do <laughs> If you don't have it, you just have to make do. And you know what? I think it worked out. It looked perfect, I think. Um, so then next, I decided to place these lanterns that I had bought from Spirit Halloween last year. Um, they're, they actually are the Haunted Mansion. And I thought they were really nice. The only thing is they do not come with lights in them. So um, I had to actually get lighting for the inside of them. But that's okay because I was able to get this remote control um, light that um, came with different um, colored lights. And um, I like it. And I think I'm going to use it because it has a remote control. And I can, you know, use it... Um, when I want to turn it on so I decided let me go ahead and uh, I chose the color purple I think the purple looks best um, you know to go with the theme because the mantle the, the uh, runner is purple so I figured the lighting would be best with, with purple I mean green might be nice as well but I think the purple is best so let me know what you guys think um, and also it has like a little blinking effect which i thought was really really nice it just gave it like how a, the illusion of fire <laughs> inside of a lantern um so then also i had these funko pops um of the um haunted mansion that i decided that would go perfect in between the two lanterns and um the first one up i have here is the um singing opera <laughs> the opera singer sorry then i have the bride which she looks amazing and then i have um victor guys he is new as well i just got him so i think this is the start um to making the haunted mansion area look really nice because these funko pops have like this translucent look to them giving them that ghostly appeal and then it was still missing um a couple you know in between gaps so i remember that i had two signs that said haunted mansion um so i went and dug those out and i placed them in between and i thought it looked good let me know what you guys think 
so right about now my movie's coming to an end and let me go ahead and give you the final tour i'll see you guys in my next video take care and bye